you're scrolling through your newsfeed and you see that your Facebook friends have gotten into a huge fight about Trump's travel ban. This sort of back and forth probably won't change many minds, but there's a simple psychological trick that might. Liberals and conservatives don't just support different policies. They have fundamentally different moral codes. According to something called moral foundations theory, liberals are much more likely to be concerned about principles like care and equality. Everybody in this country should in fact have at least a minimum and dignified standard of living. Conservatives put much more emphasis on things like patriotism, loyalty, and purity. Drugs will stop pouring in and poisoning our youth. One reason it's so hard to reach across the ideological divide is that people tend to present their arguments in a way that appeals to the ethics of their own side, rather than that of their opponents. Ever since Donald Trump handed down an executive order temporarily barring travelers from Syria and other countries, liberals have focused on how unfair the policy is to Muslims. Some have even used the story of Anne Frank as a historical analogy. We say, let us save every future Anne Frank that we didn't save decades ago. Liberals typically emphasize the harm facing refugees. They might say something like, imagine you're a Syrian refugee with your children thinking you escaped death. Then they make you go back. Heartbreaking. Let them in. But according to research by Matt Feinberg and Rob Willer, the way for liberals to win over conservatives isn't to play at their heartstrings. It's to morally reframe an idea around their values. So if a liberal were to go with an argument about refugees, it's better to go with something like this. All our ancestors wanted was to live the American dream, and that's why today's immigrants and refugees have chosen to come to America. It's a message high on patriotism and loyalty, two moral frames that are more important to conservatives than our liberal values like reciprocity and caring. One study found that conservatives were more likely to endorse environmental protections when researchers triggered their concerns about purity rather than environmental harm. A picture of a forest covered in rotting garbage, in other words, performed better with Republicans than a forest of tree stumps. It's not just conservatives. Liberals supported high military spending if the argument was framed as helping poor people escape poverty. But they didn't support it if it was framed as helping ensure U.S. military superiority. So if this trick makes political persuasion so easy, why don't more people use it? According to Feinberg, it's because we think our moral values are universal. We believe people who don't share them are just bad people. Well, Dick Cheney is so conservative, he got an artificial heart just to make sure he never felt sorry for anyone. <laughs> These snowflakes are so shaken by President Trump, they can't function. They remind me of my childhood Furby when it started to short circuit the last few months of life. To use moral reframing, you have to understand the values of the other side well enough to use them in a political argument. For many, that's just hard to do. Politics is so deeply intertwined with our personal values. So let's say you're a liberal and you just can't bring yourself to phrase your argument around patriotism or purity. At the very least, you can avoid making things worse. If you can't reframe your argument, just get off Facebook. This is Unprecedented, a weekly series where Atlantic writers explore what's going on in this new era of American politics. Let us know what topics you want us to explore in the comments. I'm Olga Hazan. Thanks for watching.